now the thing just takes off. Ferrari looking a little bit on the back foot compared to Porsche, but they are works entrance into a virtual race. It is so epic to see. Here we go. It's coming up to three o'clock local time in France. We're getting ready for the 24 hour virtual Le Mans. Who's going to get the whole shot? It's a great start from the inside line from Johnny Walker. Oh, three bikes down. It is three of the big contenders, I think. Sims, though, attacking for the lead of the race. He's got some great speed. He goes around the outside. Fantastic move from Alexander Sims to put him in the lead, but he's run a little bit wide. Marcello takes it back again. And now Sims is under pressure from Alex Lynn, who's trying to find a way down the inside of him. It's been side by side again for the lead of the race. Larry Tenvorda again trying to find an overlap. He was on the wrong line into Stowe, and he kind of is in the wrong line going into the final couple of corners as well, always putting himself on the outside line, getting the overlap, but Guven is driving such a defensive line, Larry Tenvorda can't find the right place to make the move stick. A little bit of defensive work going yeah. into first chicane for Sarah that time, and a little bit wiggly and squirrely on the exit. This could be Tinknell's opportunity for the moment. He's still in the slipstream, but does he pull out to the left-hand side? The next chicane goes left, so he wants the inside line. He wants that side of the road. Dusan Borkovic goes to the inside, locks a little break. Oh, he goes for two positions. Surely Dusan Borkovic backs the car in. All right, so he's under pressure now from Grashoff, but what a move that was. That was insane. I don't think he meant to do that, and I bet he couldn't do it again. Valentino Rossi is about to appear in front of the house. The first In 40, I think it's 42 years, no Americans ever won it. Oh, by the way, this is Casey. He's American, and also won the Dakar the same year, but in a UTV. So let's get back to Ricky. Citroen had targeted this rally to truly show the C3 WRC and Chris Meek was quite frankly spellbinding. He won eight stages in all, both on gravel and tarmac and even took second on the power stage. It shows off iRacing, but it also shows off that there is, you know, you can have a lot of fun doing silly things. Oh, and Robert Wickens kind of parking the car on the apex there, stopping Felipe from really getting the run out of the corner. He's in the slipstream now, and uh, just behind them, watching to see what happens is Bruno Spengler. Nico Lapierre in the cockpit of the number nine Toyota, out opens of the, cockpit. the door. He can see the pit lane in from where he's parked up, and it is another, in the space of half an hour, two Toyota drivers exiting the left-hand side of their TSO 50s and retiring the cars. In fact, we haven't yet seen Nico's head come out of that cockpit. Maybe still a chance, or maybe he's just composing himself. The lights go off on the car. He's getting out. He gets out the car. It's now just a silhouette, just a shadow. Oh. A lack of vision, however, has not stopped Mike Newman. Mike holds the blind land speed record as well as the water speed record and today we've met up with him at Bedford Aerodrome to find out how he does what he does and to try and do a few laps in his shoes. For Tony Harris and Cathy DeRusso, the Dakar sadly ended as soon as day three. The World Ski Cross final is go and Del Bosco in the green bib hasn't made a very good start having to put an extra few poles in. This is where he sends it. Unbelievable speed accelerating as he twists through the turn, roots and rocks to contend with. The line's perfect though. Here's your out the start hut. Immediately on those clean edges with over a second advantage. He really is skiing fantastically well. 